you know, taking the last two eventual state champions and giving them all that they can handle. Um, we're doing the right things schematically. We're doing the right things physically. Um, we're training our minds and our muscles well. Um, so we just got to take the next step. There's no reason why it can't be us. Um, obviously, we have the same goal as we had the last couple of years, and it's to make a deep playoff run. And um, there's no, no reason why we can't do it. What do you like about this group in particular? Obviously, you got Ryan back, who's just a tremendous athlete. You got Gideon, who's one of the best two-way guys around. You've got Evan. You've got Christian. You've got an experienced quarterback now after a year, you know, replacing him this year. Golden Helmet winner. Yes. You know, what do you like about this group? Yeah, what I love about this group is they want to be great teammates. And uh, they have the physical abilities. They're certainly athletic, as, as you mentioned. And they bring a lot of accolades from last year back to this team. They want to be great teammates. Uh, they want to help each other. They want to um, grow new leaders in the next generation and really serve each other. Um, and that words that usually get uh, associated with football, uh, but these kids want to be elite leaders and elite teammates. Um, you don't find that so much. They want to be a teammate more than they just want to be a top performer. With, with Rye, having, having him on the team is like, it's great. And um, say if we're on offense, people will either choose to focus more on our run or our pass game, and it just opens it up for either of, either of us. He's been pushing to get better, better man. Um, I've just been like enjoying just being with him because me and him, we've we've done, do a lot together in like the off season. We all lift together and stuff like that. Uh, we all come up to the field, maybe once a week or something, just get some routes in. But I just love it, enjoying like being around him. He's just he's a great man. What's it like throwing to him? What's it like having him as a weapon? Just having him here, always knowing that he's gonna have eyes on him. So it opens up other receivers. He might not get the ball as much, but he's opening up other other people for other routes. And he's he's just a he's just a humbled guy. He doesn't brag. He doesn't like showboat. Nothing like that. He's just does some good. All right, let's go on to the next. The question is up front. You guys are going to be a lot of new guys yeah. faces up front. We have a lot of new guys up front, but they know their stuff, so I have confidence in them to get their stuff right. I mean, success is simple, but it's really, really hard, especially when you're going up against the best teams, best coaches in the state of Ohio, and that's the bar that we've set. It's the standard that we've established, uh, and and competing at those high levels um, now, hopefully for the third year in a row, um, takes a a renewed and continued focus to the detail that not many teams are used to. We certainly weren't used to um, over the past decade or so. So again, finding those, inch those inches, more film study, um, all the little nuances that, 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 that add up in games against the Clydes and the Van Wertz and the Lake Catholics of the world. A little bit of thinking about like last season and stuff, like just what, what went wrong, but like you can't focus on that. You gotta get ready for the next season because we, we still have a big shot to do um, achieve our goal.